I guess for me, Rodrigo is probably my most successful horse. Being that uh, we bought him as a four month old foal, he only cost us $15,000 and he's made it all the way through to Grand Prix. He was the first of my horses to represent Australia at the World Young Horse Championships and um, he's been wonderful all the way through. Sometimes a, we have horses come and go, they um, become ill or they don't work out or they get sold or they die and, and he just has come all the way through biting me. <laughs> He's just come all the way through and gone straight through to Grand Prix. Probably again going to the World Young Horse Championships with Rodrigo. He, it was my first time competing in Europe and he was amazing and it was all new and exciting and fantastic. We then went back for the next three years in a row with Diamantina and she finished sixth um, at the World Young Horse Championships, so she again had the most, has been the most successful. But the whole experience of going over for the first time with, with him was fantastic. You know, there's there's been a, a lot of things, but I think when Lanzaro died, I had a, a Grand Prix horse in in Germany called Lanzaro, and he was a reserve horse for Beijing, and we flew him home, and he died when he got home. And that was um, really horrible. Temperament. They have to have really good trainability. If they, if they have the right attitude and the right trainability, you can teach them to do anything. <laughs> A bad temperament. <laughs> it doesn't matter if they, if they can trot with their legs around their ears. If they don't if they don't want to do it, if they don't have the willingness to do it, they come into the arena and they just lift a little bit and, and want to be there and do it, then it makes it all very hard. I have a relatively new saddle, the Albion, and I think that um, I, these days I would find it very hard to ride in anything else. It's fantastic. I think it's good to start them early. We break ours in at about two and a half years old. And then consistency is probably the most important thing. We do um, a little, so not a lot of work, maybe 20 minutes a day, but really consistently and uh, with a very uh, clear, um, a clear idea of what's required from them. I don't really know. I did a lead class once where I fell over. That was pretty funny, I think. I'm sure everyone else thought that was really funny. <laughs> Rodrigo, the Grand Prix horse, he's really quiet. Um, and so we don't do too much with him. I watch all the other riders go out in the morning and do arena familiarisation in the evening, in the morning, and he just stays in the stable. We feed him lots of oats and try to keep him as bright and enthusiastic as possible. He's super quiet, super reliable, so he doesn't have to do very much. I believe recently that we've had the quality of horses in our country has improved enormously. The quality of, tra of training has improved enormously and the quality of riding has improved enormously. Not across the board, of course. There, there, we still have some normal horses but we also have some very good horses, very well trained, with very good riders. And I would like to see the scores reflect that. In the world, the scores have gone, they're, they're getting 80%. In America, in Europe, they're getting 80%. And here we are not. We are not. We are still struggling to, to get 70%. I don't necessarily mean in Grand Prix, but in, but in the other levels as well, I would just like to see that our scores reflected the great improvement in the training and competition horses recently.